Hey, welcome to the Sunday preview for this Sunday, July 2nd. So we're on an extended 4th of July weekend. So let's all remember to give thanks for our great country and our freedom and the way God's blessed us all. Um, and we've got a great gospel today from the Gospel of Matthew from chapter 10. And it's a series of sayings that Jesus gave maybe at different times. And it goes like this. Jesus said to his apostles, whoever leaves, loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. Whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. I think that first part of the gospel today, people can struggle with when they think, who do they love the most? And naturally, it's your spouse or your kids. And there's something beautiful and good and natural about that. Um, but I think this gospel calls to mind that um, the two greatest commandments of the law, right? All the way back to the Old Testament, kind of the summary of all the law. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself. And it reminds us that, you know, even in the most beautiful and natural of human relationships, um, there's one thing that's greater and more important even than that, you know, is the put in the priority of putting God first in your life. Um, that we have to be people of faith and, and to really live that. Um, and it can seem like you're dividing a line between loving God and loving your family, but they really work together perfectly as long as we keep that hierarchy and the priority of God. You know? And in fact, we'll be able to love others better if we have God as our priority, you know. And you remember that old saying, you know, God comes first, others come second, and I come last. And if we keep that in our mind all the time as the proper order of things, then we'll be able to love others and love ourselves in the right way. <laughs>